guys, welcome to Let's Talk. And today's subject is going to be plants versus zombies as the first episode for the Let's Talk series. So, let's talk about plants versus zombies. First off, I would like to start by saying the first one is just a great game. The mini games, the survival, the puzzles, and the amount of ports it was on. It was on Xbox 360, PS3, PS Vita, um, DS Mobile, and Computer, which was incredible at the time, which made this game insanely popular. And when it was on consoles, it was blowing up because YouTube was posting about it. Everything was talking about it, like GameStop had a lot of it. Uh, I think they still have some in stock, but I don't know. Um, so this is why the first one was a huge success by PopCap, along with others like Peggle and Zumba and whatever else they had. The DS version of Plants vs. Zombies was very like um, different than like Xbox, mobile. Considering the DS at the time wasn't very like good, and it was well, I'm not saying the console was good, but like the like s- like the sound system and graphics. But, like I don't, f- I feel like they weren't built for like games like Plants vs Zombies, so it kind of looks more like um pixelated and stuff. Enough about Plants vs Zombies one. Let's go into Plants vs Zombies two. It's about time. This game had massive ad and commercials on TV and YouTube, and it was extremely successful at the time. YouTubers were playing it all around, excited about a new game and new Plants vs Zombies action. And EA, cause PopCap sold the franchise to EA. And you know how EA is. They made you pay five dollars, actually four ninety nine for a premium plant in the game, which kind of ruined it, unless you're a YouTuber and you buy everything in that game, which kind of makes it suck, but... It still has the same vibe. There's around, I think, 12 worlds, including Ancient Egypt Pirate Seas, Wild West Frostbite Caves, Lost City, Jurassic Marsh, Neon Mixtape Tour, Modern Day, Big Wave Beach, uh, what's that one? Uh, far future dark ages uh i don't remember but the game actually took off for like at least two to one years when they had the christmas events these halloween events and it was super fun and everyone was streaming it and playing it it still had survival and there was a lack of mini games there was like um there was vase breaker they kept Zen Garden, and those are basically like the only old assets they kept from the old game. Other than less, the game is pretty good. They have some new modes, I think, from like a year or two. I don't know. I haven't. I've been playing it. I've been trying to get back into Plants for Zombies. It's been working. I've been playing it a lot. They added Penny's Pursuit and Arenas. I don't know why Plants for Zombies would ever need arenas, but. It's pretty cool, I guess. It gives you free gems and stuff. It's just cool. Now that we've gone over all the Plants vs. Zombies, well, not all of them, because there's going to be Plants vs. Zombies 3, and I don't want to talk about Heroes, because that game is shit. Other than less, um, Plants vs. Zombies Heroes sucks. If you like card games and are sweat at them, you'll like it. I don't find it interesting. It's kind of boring, and... There's like no, there's no story mode and it's more online, so I don't like that. Plants vs Zombies 3 is coming out soon, and I don't think I should talk about it because it's not even out yet. So I'll talk about the shooter Plants vs Zombies. The shooter Plants vs Zombies games, Garden Warfare 1 and 2, and the really bad third one, Battle for Naperville. They are good. They they are pretty good. The first one had that OG, brand new. You could play Plants vs. Zombies Garden Warfare and Plants vs. Zombies 1 or 2 on your iPad, iPhone, anywhere. That brought that memories. Garden Warfare was an Xbox 360, etc, etc. It was so much fun. They had a Cheetos collab thing. They had a Aquafina one, I think. It was so much fun, and it was it was made by EA, but like they did a good job of it. It was, it was so much fun, and the second one was even better. 
The second one had new plants like Citron, Rose, and Kernel Corn. And I personally think they were a great addition to the game besides the fact pe the way that people use them because, of course, it's a shooter game. People are going to be sweaty at it. But still, the game was so much fun and refreshing at that time. It was so much fun. I love the shooter games. Um, Battle for Neighborville was kind of mid. I got it at Black Friday for like 20 bucks. It, 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 I, it was fun at first, and no one, no one, my whole friend group used to play it, and we all don't play it anymore, and I honestly think it's probably one of the worst ones. Garner Warfare is way better. If they made a third Garner Warfare, I would have personally played it a lot. Um, well, that's all I really have to talk about Plants for Zombies-wise, but... I want to talk about a new fan project someone is making called Plants vs. Zombies Universe. It is Plants vs. Zombies 2, but it's kind of mixed with Plants vs. Zombies 1 at the same time. It's like a big, ultimate Plants vs. Zombies game if you're wanting to play something before the third one comes out. So, it's something you'll have to see. I'm going to probably put a link for the information in the description and the comments if you want to check it out and i mean i guess you could call this a podcast if you wanted to but uh i, I don't know man it's not really a podcast for me i just kind of like talking to the camera it's more refreshing than just playing and screaming so i would like to say thank you guys for watching and peace out bye guys have a great day stan did you see that rainbow this morning yeah it was huge <laughs> I hate those things.